The second video goes over the second derivative test, which is right here. Um, the second derivative test is um, not a test for concavity, as you might think it should be. It's actually a test for extrema, and it goes back to um, this right here. So this is what we focused on on Monday. And basically, you're taking your critical numbers from your first derivative. So where your first derivative equals 0, you're plugging them into the second derivative. And if it's positive there, then you have a relative minimum at C. And if it's negative, then you have a relative max. If the derivative um, at C, let's see, let me back that up. If um, f double prime at C equals 0, the test fails. And you have to come up with another plan, which means you have to go back and do the table method from 3, 3. Another important note would be right here. You're testing their critical numbers where f prime of c equals 0 only, not where that first derivative is undefined. So let me go back now to example 4. So we found our first derivative. Um, these represent our critical numbers of the first derivative. We plug them into the second derivative. When it's less than 0, we have a maximum. And when it's greater, we have a minimum. This work is just helping us find the y values right here. Did the same thing here. These are critical numbers from the first derivative. We put those into the second derivative. And those are the conclusions we can draw. For example, 6 and 7, this is one that's in your cut apart notebook. So we pasted it in. Um, they found the critical numbers already. They gave you the second derivative. Um, we plug them in. So this right here is plugging in your second derivative. Um, we got 0 for 0, which means the second derivative test fails. And so that's where you have to go back and do the table on both sides of 0. 115 and, and so we're checking on both sides of 0. And we get decreasing for both of those intervals, so you don't get any extrema there. And then you can use your second derivative test on the 1 and the negative 1 to show that you have your min and your max. That's what we covered today on Monday.